Last time on Chasing Dallas. So about this Tulsa trip. I be trying to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? And like, don't nobody ever try to listen to me when I say like, I don't know if it's if I'm, it's cause I'm gay. I really don't know, you know what I'm saying? I look on social media. He didn't show up to my graduation. He didn't show up to my prom going off. He didn't show up to none of that shit. I see friends with, with their fathers and So today I am having a very important meeting to myself. It's with a photographer for the promo shoot for my book, Networking Honey. My career as a stylist, it was all built on networking. 10 years in the game in Atlanta is not easy to do. Well, if you do try to copy anybody, uh, copy Oprah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for an Oprah we feel, okay? Well, you know I invited everybody to the damn lingerie party. You, Carrie, okay. uh, Dior, Reese showed me a post. It had something to do with talking about people, like thick people or something like that. He made a comment. You want a reason to have, to have beef with me? Because if you really felt some way, you would tag me in it. Because I feel some type of way about somebody, I'm going to tag you in it regardless. Yeah. Like, yeah. we grown. If she approached me at the party, I would be open to have a conversation with her. If you guys were friends in the past, y'all have had this bond, you know, why is this guy acting like he doesn't know what you do, or why is he being so nasty to you, or even allowing his children to be so nasty to you? And I feel like Howard and Womack need a conversation where they can just dead the situation because at the end of the day, these niggas are for everybody. We all know that. Life is Decided to come out with a super sexy male lingerie line uh, titled King Kane Lingerie. So go get you some on kingkane.co. It's there, it's sexy, it's fitted, um, and it's everything for the people. So today I invited Ariel and Trey Howard just to come hang out with me, view the venue, and just let me know what they think. Will they be gooped? Will they be gagged? Or, you know, I just want to know their thoughts, their opinions. So I'm so excited to, you're like, let me do this event here. I love the space and what you're doing. I remember you from the tattoo party. Yeah, yeah. Very that beautiful. Was yeah, it was a lot going on that day. It was a, it was, it was a lot. So the venue I chose was the exclusive fit club and spa. It's owned by this really, really beautiful black woman named Ashley. I'm so here for the black businesses. I'm so here for the black empowerment. Um, so it was important to find a place that you know, there was black love already there because I want this event to be fun and I want it to be all things King Kane, which is sexy. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Body is sitting in that rope, Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually ended up getting the message from Kane. He wants me to come and view the venue that he's planning on having his party at. Kind of excited about doing that. Really like hanging out with Kane. Me and Kane. We had like a one night stand type of thing. Um, I mean, but after that, we just felt like it was no mutual um, tie. So we ended up like, you know, being the best of friends, you know? Okay, so this is our front studio room. We have boxing, Pilates, group fitness. We do CPR certification, self-defense classes. We literally do everything. You're trying to help me. First of all, the place is super nice. It's in a nice area of Dallas. Um, I just, I love like the different rooms that she had. Like she took us into like a, a workout room. Then we saw that there's like a little mini sauna right there. And then, you know, in the back is where like there's the pole dance classes that go on. And it was just very like inspiring to see like, wow, this 
all this over here and it's owned by a black woman and it's in Carrollton like wow so you know hats off to Ashley alright well I'm gonna leave you guys to it I hope y'all having fun um, just be careful with the glass alright right. of course <laughs> So I thought I was gonna be just viewing the venue, actually we just came, but then Trey Howard had showed up, which I thought was really interesting considering the fact that I had just got a cup of tea that I was waiting to spew over into his lap. No rah rah. No rah rah. No rah rah. No rah rah. No. I mean, maybe a, maybe a little bit, like I'm okay with conversations being had because I know there was a lot of conversations that need to be had amongst the group, but I just feel like it doesn't, it can't escalate. It just can't, it's not my shit. I can't afford it. But you just said, be trusted with the mirror. When I was at the Wilson College, that wasn't my shit neither. The kids were still throwing icy cups. So. Outside. So that's what we're going to send them. My brunch and your lingerie thing is on the same day. Yeah. So, so my, I'm going to have to choose which one I'm going to No, 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 no. This is earlier in the day. Okay, because I was going to say, because I have, have two look looks. On. Two <laughs> look to this. So yeah. two looks, two separate looks. Yeah. Most of the girls can't do it, but two looks. Facts. So who are you inviting? Mm -hmm. Um, Just the people that, you know, are doing something in life. Uh, minus maybe two or three people. So, and who are the two or three people? Antonio, George, and Trey. Something. Trey. The, his name is Trey, but yeah, those are the three people there. Right now. Speaking of what y'all got going on, because I keep hearing like all this, you know, you know. Woo, 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 well, let me woo, just tell woo, you woo, what. Woo, woo, what woo. Word on the street. Apparently, Howard's ex okay. was Howard's man. Man. Top. And he. Went to Trey. <laughs> Trey Womack had no idea about Did them he no two. Idea? That's what he said. And then he's like, "Okay, he had no idea. He doesn't know where this is coming from." Had and it? the dude was his body. Oh. Uh, so he's um, like, "It's nothing." You know what I'm it's saying? Nothing. At the end of the day, it, at the end of the day, it's nothing because I'm in a new relationship. I just don't. Right. I feel like I don't associate with those type of people. I really don't know Trey Womack. Um, him and my dad are friend were friends before me. Um, I don't know of him. I've heard around town that he's a thigh. Trey is more of a club type of girl. He exists only in the club. So I didn't know him doing anything in the community or for the community or anything like that. Just the club and jock straps. I just want to, to, to be clear because, you know, last time I was with Womack, he did bring up the fact that you and Dior was like fat shaming him on like Facebook Damn. saying he was like stuffed in the teaser. Oh, um, you know what? I did see that. Oh, no, I mean, no shade. No shade. I said it because. So, was you talking about him? Absolutely. When the 22nd teaser came out and I seen Trevor Mac eating, I mean, of course he's built kind of bad, but I felt like he was one slice of piece away from being obese. He looks a mess. And I just felt like in the teaser, it wasn't a great fit for production to put him in. He looked. A complete hog with mess. Okay, well since you see, said, well I wasn't that out picking, but you is know he I'm to the what's my college? Yeah, he, everybody's invited except okay, for George. And I had just made Trey or whatever an outfit for his photo shoot, so he was at my house and I was trying to brush things over with y'all, with all of y'all actually, and I was telling him that I feel like all y'all need to sit down and talk. I think so, so too. But I was trying to do that, and he had with the time about slapping the shit at you. So who gonna slap who? Well, he said he gonna slap Chad Sugar, and you You're know he's tall. Wow. That won't be happening here. I just what I want Howard to do when it comes to like the timeline and trying to figure things out. I just think that he should just. Let it go because you have a whole new man and you're happy and you're glowing and you're moving forward. Like I'm not gonna be beefing with a bitch over a nigga that I don't even fuck with. Like it's just pointless. He should know. He should know how to have a conversation. He's older than me, so I feel like as an older adult, if I have the if I have the ability to sit here and talk to you and tell you my peace with you. So what about the Facebook thing? Did you? I was, I was, I was, I, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, was definitely. Say, I, 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 I definitely feel like that was like a dig, and it's because. You know, I don't care for him, so it was a dig, as we all do, we all do. I just and think that it should just like, be I dropped. You know what I'm saying? You're I mean, it can be dropped. Place. It can be dropped. It can be dropped. It definitely can be dropped. I think it's too late to be dropped now, though. 
I would be because he I already said like he don't give a fuck and he gonna well, stop. Well, I mean, he is upset, but I, mean, I do think that a conversation could be had. I don't mm-hmm. know when, where, how. I'm honestly not in it. I don't want to be in it, but. I just don't think that it's cool to do that shit on Facebook. Well, I just personally feel like I'm in too deep there and I'm just going to have to bring it up every once in a while. I wasn't trying to be messy. I just thought, you know, I was trying to get to see. I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. So I had one on ahead and asked the boy. Don't be mad at me. I don't make the news. I just report it. One thing I already know is from me that talk. if it gets to that point, you have to go. Like, it, it, it just can't be that. Why are you trying to fight? He's just annoyed with well, maybe the Well, you picking. can't read. You know, sometimes when you can't really, like, read a person. Like a book? No, not a book, but when you can't read a, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, some you people are read, read. Like me, I'm a reader. I'm not, not a fist throw. And I'm not trying, I just want to have just a, I'm picking. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I can't. Like, so picking a picking, well, how do you feel about just name calling? How do you feel about calling Miss George? <laughs> Well, that's my, a name, bitch. That's my, my name. But this is my thing, though. It that was a that's this is a fresh new situation, and he came for me. I I never come for anybody. I won't come for anybody. If you come for me, I will react. So that's just where I'm at with her. I don't see it for her. You know, she's on the timeout. I think we should just usher her out and bring you on. Not um, out. So Damn. for me, it's just don't she do bodies? I don't. She, she I, don't, don't much I don't really care about it. Yeah, why well, her? She just digs the graves. Well, I heard that she's asking like timeline of me and my dude's relationship. I she guess. doesn't have a story to tell, so I'm sure she is trying to create I'm like, a situation. Girl, she's that's your pain. You said like you're not here for her. I'm not here for her because what? at the tattoo anyway. at the tattoo party, I'm chilling, I'm vibing, and I'm like, hey, so I know everybody works a job. Nine to five, me included. I'm mm-hmm. in the situation with you guys. We're all talking. Right. I'm like, so I know, I heard, I know everybody works nine to five, but what is everybody chasing? Y'all being new on the cast, this y'all moment. Talk about what y'all do. Bring it up. Speak on it. He took that moment to try to shade me and what I do and this, that, and the third. And it was just weird for me. So then I'm like, mm, I see what you're trying to do. What was he trying to do? He looking for a moment. He, he's looking for a moment. He wants to come for my crown. And it's not going to happen. Bitch, I'm over him. I think my dad said he likes him, but I haven't met to like give it his vibe. Is he coming to the um? Thing? He's not invited. <laughs> Everyone's invited <laughs> except her. Bitch. <laughs> coming up on Chasing Dallas. Years old, so I hope everybody. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Well, you look twelve, okay? And don't check me. Okay? If it was not for you guiding me through this, I don't know how to be. Am I ready for tonight? Uh, no. Am I out for tonight? No. No. I didn't invite you here to do that. What'd you get? What'd you get? Thank you very much. Come on. Let's do it. You got to shoot me. Yeah, you got to shoot me. No, you got to shoot me. I told y'all not to let his ass come. My name is Imani Van Zapp, and I'm here to help you your shit. The time has come again for me to recognize my babies. Honorable mention number one is Reese. I am so glad to see you pursuing your dreams with all of your might. And yes, there's no double space here. <laughs> Second honorable mention once again is Rock. Now baby, I know I gave you some smoke last week. All in good fun. This week I'm proud of you because of the little cocktail gathering when someone said, girl, and she, you sipped your drink and kept on going. That's the way it should be. Gayism is a vibe, not the common cold. You can't catch it. <laughs> Good for you, baby. And now for the strongest and weakest people of the week. The strongest this week is Dior. Now from the bottom of my heart, let me tell you, you touched me with your story. So often in the LGBTQIA community, we have to make our own families. Because sometimes those that we love do not love us. Vulnerability and transparency are powerful things. I am happy that you are moving on and starting your own family. As many times we'll learn that we have to give that which we did not receive. The weakest this week is Dior. Wait a minute. Dior, my baby, while I praise you on one side, I have to give you some critique on the other. What are these messages where you're potentially body shaming other people? Although I'm sure it's all in good fun, I'm seeing a little bit of Mean Girl come out with that. Trey, Styles by Howard, watch it. So Dior, I'm not gonna call you the weakest, but I will say that you are up for review. I will be monitoring you. Now go fix 
your shit. When I get you back, oh yeah, I promise you'll never leave me when it comes to you and me. So today is my first um, all white affair brunch. It's something that is long in the making. I want it to be an annual thing. I want everybody all white, everybody looking amazing. Um, the panel discussion is gonna be dope. I'm excited yeah. to have all only of only because I'm on the panel. That's why it's gonna be dope. <laughs> And the other influencers. Okay, I'll yeah, you're right, but <laughs> it's gonna be really dope because yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. Monotomy and Reese are good. I guess trust the process of a new friendship because, you know, the past ones have fucked me up. I'm good, I moved on. Um, I was invited by Trey Howard to go to his um, teen brunch. I mean, was it teen brunch? He, how was Trey? I'm just gonna go and support. I think everybody else is gonna be there too. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna be there and support. People, you boys. Can I have another round of applause, you guys? <laughs> So today is Howard's All White Brunch. You know, I obviously want to come and support my friend. Um, I think he's doing great things. Um, and I'm just really excited to come and see what he's giving, what he's going. And I also have a couple of questions for the panel. So, am I ready for tonight? Uh, well, I just want to see this. Yeah, I'm not ready for tonight. You got to come and put Okay. Big and bottom. You got your outfit for tonight? Uh-huh. You do? Uh-huh. Okay. You going to go? I'm going to eat it. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go by that store. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. My outfit for tonight. What'd you get? What'd you get? Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. Party body, 90 90. Let's go for the panel chat. Amazing job. Uh, next, we're gonna talk to we're gonna talk to King Beautiful Dior. When I tell you he is a mastermind at the hair, he's a mastermind at the hair. But what's what's so interesting about his story is. He came, he moved here from another city, and he always knew he he loved hair. And he had a job, and he just threw caution to the wind, and he just quit a job, and he just done it full force. Oh. Tell us a little bit about your journey exactly, what it took for you to just get up and just quit your job and just say, you know what, because there's a lot of people here that's really ready to just say, fuck my job, I'm ready to just go for what I know. So, um, I just took the, the major step and just, just quit and just did what I love to do. I love doing hair. Like, I don't need the money. I can do hair for free. I'll be, you know what I'm saying? So, the money is just a bonus to me. Reese G. Reese G is the executive producer of Chasing Dallas. And she's been here in Dallas for a little while. Now, I'm gonna tell you what's interesting about Reese is that she had an idea to take something that was trending and make it into her own. Styling and fashion was something I was good at, but not what I was giving to the world. It wasn't my gift. And so I prayed and I was like, universe and God, what I need to do? And it said move. So I moved, okay? What it took for him to write three books published on Amazon. Number one, trendy. Once I started becoming single and then I went into start dating, um, I realized there's a lot of people in the dating pool now who are very, inconsistent, um, who can't come with the basics. So I wrote about certain people in the Dallas community who are inconsistent hoes. And that's what I titled the book. Uh, well, my question is for Reese G. Um, what would you say are the, maybe the top five, top three things that you must possess in order to gain that sort of um, I would say anybody in the beauty industry, in the industry in general, do not look for solely having a celebrity clientele. Because just as quickly as they rose, they can fall very quickly, okay? So you need those people that are not necessarily celebrities or nationally known. You need those people that are working their nine to five because even though they get an every two week check, they're gonna make sure they keep their nails and hair done. Okay. So, first off, congratulations again. I think you're doing an amazing job. I want you to tell everybody here exactly what this panel means to you personally and what everybody, what everyone out here means to you exactly on your journey to where you're trying to go. 
Um, so this panel, uh, like I said before, is all about the people that I feel like inspire me, who are in the line of work that I have uh, found myself in, and I definitely wanted to reach out to them and see if they would educate people that have they, have they like they've educated me on different things. Reese, uh, I've met Reese uh, about a year ago. She definitely helped me uh, with just being a stylist. You know, I wanted to have someone who already was in the game, who already knew the ropes, and she definitely, uh, he definitely lended his, uh, his expertise and advice to everything that I do. I just met her and we definitely kicked it off. She definitely answered to, answered my call when I asked for uh, another panelist, so she definitely was supportive. So I'm very grateful that she just, without a drop of a dime, without knowing who I was, helped me to get where I, went, where I am right now. Oh, uh, my dad, oh my God. Uh, Dior, man, if it was not for you guiding me through this life, I don't know where I'd be. I really don't know where I would be. You and Fanon, because I, 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 it's hard for a young gay guy to come and a young guy, young gay guy to come and um, really just say go about his dream. I'm from Fort Worth, y'all, and I'm from 817, which is like Eastwood, which is like the ghettoest place you want to be. But I had a, I had a dream, y'all. I have dreams bigger than California, and just because where I am does not like does not dictate my future. So I definitely wanted to. We bring all these people to the cat. I mean, to the to the panel to kind of show you that these are the people that I look up to and look where I am now. This, I'm 22 years old now, putting on this production, and y'all all supporting me it has been the most. I feel so good, y'all. I feel like I can go be president. Yeah. So yeah. honestly, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. When I took the mic, I felt a lot of emotions. I felt grateful. I felt humble. I felt the gratitude of everybody coming out to support me because I'm just this little old guy from the east side of Fort Worth who had a dream and to see this dream like turn to fruition is amazing and to see that everybody is supporting me and is in uh, acceptance of what I'm doing it really shows the gratitude because I thought Dallas was like selfish everybody clicked up so to see yeah. a lot of people that come out of their clicks and come out for the camaraderie, camaraderie for my event just means a lot to me. I'm What's so funny is I had leaned over right before they gave you the mic. I had leaned over to Mark and I said, "He's gonna start stuttering and he's gonna cry." I was just so <laughs> and emotional. And you did exactly what I said. I know you. Because it's just like everybody. <laughs> it brought tears to my like, eyes. <laughs> everybody is just like literally there for the support of the, the yeah. what I'm doing, and it, it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. So it's coming up on Chasing Dallas. But still let a bitch know, don't play with me. If you want to sit here and talk about setup, set up your motherfucking life to sit here and be coupled up with bitches that's gonna help you get to the top. She outside. No, 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 oh, shit, no. Hey, 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 What's up, world? It's Reese G, not Cardi B, but I still get to the money. Oh, and I am here with another message, this time from Bosses About Business. Baby, let me tell you something. When it comes down to this Nubian Lips sweatshirt and this Super Bosses sweatshirt, y'all know I'm a Super Boss and I got all these hoes hating on me just because of that. Make sure you go on over to their website and purchase right now www.bossesaboutbusiness.com and follow them on Instagram at Bosses About Business. Tell them Reese G sent you. Tunnel vision when I hit the holly Working on that cause my mind is on an island Told my babies I'll be homeless so don't stay up Breaks my heart to see them sad so I won't wait up Need it all, all that's mine I need it now I lost my patience the same week I lost my smile My baby pressed me said I'm acting like a child I took some L's can lie that really brought me down I'm so anti-social, but I guess it's type selective Swear I'll make a change, but for now I just can't help it Only trusting God and these cars that I've been dealt with I'ma do my job, time to grind, time to know They know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know 
I might have to take your bitch so you can pipe down Pussy bad ass, what the fuck you wipe down? And that's on your son and daughter that I'm killing shit They be like, you should watch your mouth I say, fuck them kids Today's the day of my lingerie party I'm super excited, I'm just so happy for all the girls to just come See how I party, see what I like to do, what I like to drink um, And I'm just, I'm ready for them to see some of the product as well Okay, used to stay in trouble, now I just stay in my devil How you hating, broken, ugly, tell that bitch to pick a struggle sick of We went to Kane's lingerie party Kane looked at amazing, he had on his, uh, he had on like his little whips and chains, S&M I had on, um, Versace hole, red and Girl, you had on Versace. <laughs> no, you had your ass out. It was mesh. The ass was hanging I had out. A strap on. Oh, you had a job strap on? Yeah. Right, bitch. Tonight's the night of King Kane's lingerie party. I haven't seen everybody since maybe Markel's game night. So I was reluctant to go at first, but I was like, what the fuck? Let me just go ahead and just, you know, put something on real cute. And let me just go on and see what this is about. So I pulled up to the lingerie party. Uh, really excited about it. I haven't seen Kane in a minute, so. Maybe we can catch up, see how everything turns out. He's been hyping it up all month, so let's do it. So I pulled up into the motherfucking lingerie party, dressed in all black with the gat in the leg, and from the looks of things, you'll know what I mean in a minute. I wasn't the only bitch there with a motherfucking gat in the leg, bitch. But anyway, so I had pulled up a little bit early, waiting on my bitch Reese. Don't know where the fuck she is, girl. I had to get on at the motherfucking car and walk into the lion's den all by my motherfucking self. Can you have a little nip slip there? I am. <laughs> <laughs> So we pull up to the lingerie party. Well, t technically, I didn't, I really wasn't really invited by the person who's actually throwing the event. I was like, maybe I don't want to go, but my child Trey was like, you have to come and you can't wear nothing regular. You got to come. You just gave all this at the brunch, so you got to give a, you know, another outfit. So I definitely wanted to give the ambiance of what they were giving. So I definitely wanted to wear a tutu, thigh high boots, cowboy hat, very much so a seductive cowboy. When I got there, I seen everybody that I wanted to see and I seen people that I didn't want to see and we just kept it moving, we kept it cordial, so as what I thought. Now, I am a little late, but surely it was definitely and will always be worth the wait because I'm giving you very much dominatrix, very much snap ponytail, very much body out, all of the things, honey. Give you very much, you know, a little knock knee tease, very K Michelle, but you know, I came to have a great time tonight. So, your hands will get sweaty throughout class. That means spray your tongue.
sexy environment, the lights are low, like this is some King Kang shit right here, okay? This is the type of shit that gets me going and it inspires me. I am not a dancer by any stretch of the imagination. However, with a little drink in my system, I would like to think of myself as Diamond from Crime Mob performing at Ecstasy. You can see it, I understand. I'm there. I don't care what you say. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This is the emergency. I love y'all. More emergency. More y'all. You want to show me? Oh my God, thank you so much. Now you want to show me? Now you want to show me? So I was getting ready to leave the party or whatever and I decided that, you know, I wanted to bring my brother out because, you know, Dior is still my family or whatever above all. You know, the tea that I had been given because, you know, technically that was Trey Womack's first time seeing Trey Howard and I personally felt like had he had actually reached and slapped the shit out that boy and, you know, we were sitting somewhere and that hair came about, I thought that it would look fake on my part. What we was talking about earlier is that we feel as though a conversation needs to be had so just have like a good point. He's a whole family. Well, you and Trey, because Trey really, yeah, he feels yeah. some type of way about you, and he definitely said he wants that shit at you. Girl, I've been walking through and through the establishment. What's not gonna happen? Would you be okay with a conversation? I mean, I don't have no problem with you? talking with him. Well, so we had a conversation him. earlier. I guess. Who, he said Trey. He said that I, you. What? Were, I guess. Yeah. I was laughing at it because he was stuck in the trailer. I Oh. Whatever you want to say, bitch. I was laughing at it because he was stuck in the trailer. I oh. said it. Whatever you want to say, bitch. Reese showed me a post that was on uh, please, Facebook. It had something to do with talking about people, like thick people or something like that. He made a comment. You want a reason to have beef with me? Because if you really felt some way, you would tag me in it. Because I feel some type of way about somebody, I'm going to tag you in it regardless. Yeah. Like, yeah. we grown. Let me go and get him. It was actually, it was a teaser. Actually, it was a teaser. <laughs> it was 20 seconds. It was 20 seconds. The <laughs> I don't think I, me personally, need to have a conversation with Trey Womack, period. But, I mean, since they insisted on us having a conversation, I went along with it. Don't, don't get all of that. That's, it's not even that important. It's so old. whispers uh -huh. about everything as far as like the comments on social media and then you know the comments of him not doing tattoos and all of those things so okay the com it wasn't a comment it was a question that I asked you and everybody around me have y'all ever seen him do a tattoo <laughs> I've never seen him do a tattoo but I also heard that he said that I don't do hair either but I've done his hair multiple times You've never seen him do a tattoo in y'all friendship of like years of knowing each other? No. You knew exactly what I did in my pastime. Like you, I pierced your friends. Your friends have asked me about tattoos at your house while you doing my hair. Me and <laughs> sat in your house when y'all were together, having a whole conversation about tattoos and needles and us tattooing each other. I was, I was quite puzzled as to why he would say that. When push came to shove, like we had a friendship. So at some point when you pick and you pick and you pick, you lose it and you black out. Girl, every girl, time, every time I see hey, 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 every time I see him, it's not bad. No, 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 No jumping! Hey! No! I don't see it! One, one fight! Hey! Stop! Hey. Stop! Hey. Stop! Hey. Stop! Stop! Hey. Stop! 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 Stop!
how you hate and broken ugly Tell that bitch to pick a struggle Say I'm drippy in my walk Bitch, I leave a lot of photos To them niggas wanna talk Tell them niggas Next time on Chasing Dallas. You gonna have to shoot me? You gonna have to shoot me? No, you gonna have to shoot me? I told y'all not to let his ass come. Get that ass in the car. I'm gonna out. Y'all up here with this faggot ass bullshit. Ain't nobody got time for this. Um, has this meeting because of what happened and the last, I guess, two weeks also. Trey Womack don't even do nothing. He don't even do tattoos. It's the reason he in the group is because he fucking recent.